so hi guys so in today's video we would be talking about custom loss function in the previous video we have talked about how we can create a custom model but today we would be talking about custom loss functions so in this short exercise we, we, we will require you to write a simple regression neural network that is trained on two arrays uh, the means th th this is called the hello world of machine learning uh, if you have saw, seen my previous video you must be knowing about this so uh, first we will import all the main libraries and after that we will need to implement a custom loss function that returns the root mean square error so first of all we would run this code and uh, once the code has been run all the libraries have been imported now after this we would run the input values the labels and the inputs now we, uh, we would ignore this custom loss function for now and we would simply go down here and we have defined the model architecture we are just providing one dense layer in this function and uh, inside this we are providing the optimizer and the loss function look here we are using the default inbuilt keras loss function that is mean squared error and we are training a model and this is the prediction i would just simply run this code and i would get the prediction value of 10 as 18.98 okay now suppose i want to use a custom loss function i don't want to use a pre-built functions inside keras I want to build a function of my own and then use that for that we would define the loss function given my RMSC that returns the RMSC tar between the target y, y true and prediction y print and we would return the error where error is the mean of uh, subtraction between the y true minus y print and the square of that this is called the root mean square error uh, you must be getting it where I have used here if you want to learn more about the available uh, uh, fun loss functions available in Keras, you can just go to Keras uh, loss function web website. I would provide the link to the website in the uh, description section and you can go from here. So you can see this is the mean absolute error and we were just using the mean squared error class here. Uh, so we just use that in the default section here. Now what we are do doing here, we are defining the whole a loss function we are providing the true two values y true and y pred inside which the error is going to be y true minus y pred as uh, the difference between the true labels and predicted values and then we would square it how to square tf dot square and this is the square of the error the new variable square error is the uh, square of the error and how was error defined y true minus y pred as i have already told you now going down here we would just uh, find the math dot reduce mean what we are going to do we are going to find the mean of the square of the error we are going to define another variable mean square error and we would simply use the inbuilt tensorflow functions that is tf dot math uh, reduce mean and inside that we would define it now we would also do square root mean square error and we would do tf math dot square root and we would define mean square error and we would just return it so what we are doing we are following the we are following the uh, steps the uh, uh, sequence of steps that lead us to the loss function first we find uh, we find the difference between the true and predicted values then we square it and then we find the mean of that square error and then we do the square root of that error uh, of that mean square error and then we re return that square root this is how the full form of the even even function is defined my rmse my uh, root mean square error Hence, we are fine first. We are giving the giving the user the square the mean uh, the root of the mean square error of the mean square error. So this is how we defined it here. And now what we would do simply now we would go down here. We would just remove this inbuilt function and we would type the function that we have defined. That is my RMSE. So I would just do my RMSE and uh, I would just simply run this. As you can see we got the same value almost same value that is 18.988 it was it was it is 18.90 if you want you can even make some error uh, changes that if i we, you should not do this i would not prefer recommend you to do this but suppose you want to i'm just giving you an example i would just remove this and simply run the function now and we would just run the function now by making some changes in the loss type and uh, the model level fit so you can see it is 
so it has also given some uh, uh, warnings but we would ignore it for now and as you can see the value returned is not that much triggered because the function that we are using here and the type of data we are using here and the type of model that we are building here is only of one layer so that is the reason things are not getting impacted that much but if in future we want to big, uh, build a very big model at that time even a small uh, change in the whole function is going to uh, cause a big, uh, big change in the final answer so this is how you define your own loss function you you just define your loss function using the values the using a function uh, name and inside which you write the whole properties of how things are going inside that and what you are going to return and then we would do you would simply do model dot compile and inside the loss name you, in loss you just write the, uh, mention the name of the function so this is it how you can define your own loss function and this is it for today's video you can just go and check the custom loss functions availability on tensorflow website just type custom loss function keras and you would get to uh, 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 at the website of losses of keras that all the available loss functions and how you can create one everything in detail so this was it for the video in the next video we are going to talk the, the next thing about optimizers the custom optimizers and all so thank you for watching the video thank you and have a nice day